Well, you end up dropping the Connected Mixtape yeah, with Rob. Rob Banks. Yeah. And you always said that Rob was really kind of one of the, the trendsetters. Yeah, no. As far as on some Florida shit, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, Rob. I, 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 I give I give I, I give Rob that hundred percent. Rob did a lot of shit and he, he forefronted a lot of shit and made shit for for some or from some Florida artists. Yeah. Even including myself, a lot easier. You know what I mean? I just I I just wish I wish that people kinda like, you know, notice that a little bit more about him. You know that Shaggy son, right? A hundred percent I do. <laughs> <laughs> He made me take that part out of the interview, like after we did it. I guess no, he doesn't. He doesn't try to ride off of that. <laughs> no, a hundred percent. It's just different the, the, the type yeah. of music that, that his dad but, does. But <laughs> it, like, Rob, Rob got an interesting life too. Yeah, he got he got a, he got a real interesting life. Uh then you drop Ethernet Volume Two. Yep. And then the newest one is Everything Sucks. Yeah, which is Ethernet Three. But oh, that's Ethernet Three. Basically, that's we call it E Three, but like. I wanted to like completely stop the continuation of the Ethernet series because I was mm -hmm. supposed to originally do like five volumes. So I was like, yo, I don't want to do Ethernet. Everything sucks. Like <laughs> from one to three, I just feel like everything sucks. Why everything sucks? Uh, that's just how I feel at my this point in my life right now. Uh, I'm, it's not that I'm not grateful. I'm very grateful for a lot of things that happened in my life, but just everything within myself personally, I feel like sucks. I don't got the best self esteem. I ain't got the best confidence. Really? Nah, hundred percent. With all those people cheering for you, with you know, you've always put your relationships front and center. You know, some guys try to hide their relationships, but you know, your girlfriend's here with you, and you talk about your girlfriends and everything else like that. You got people around you. It's I'm just not afraid, but it, it just I feel like just because I'm not afraid to to speak on certain things or to you know show that this is really me, that don't mean that that's that that helps with what I'm going through. You know what I mean? Because to be real with you, me acting the way how I'm acting. Like there's certain people, people with a brain understand me. You know what I mean? But a good majority of the people in this world dead ass don't have a fucking brain. So I'm constantly getting, you know, misjudged or this or this or that. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like, nah, it doesn't really help anything. If anything, it makes it worse because it makes it feel like people have more shit to say about me because I'm so honest about it. It's like fuel, like, oh, well, you doing this, so shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, people think the celebrities don't have feelings. No, people think that celebrities aren't human beings. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that shit be blowing my mind. I'm like, bro, I got blood, skin, bones, all right. that shit, just we're, like you. We just have more fans, like, <laughs> and some more money probably. But other than Not that, even it's just the same that. It's thing. like, bro, yo, people be thinking that, that, like, bro, like, people be thinking that, like, I dead ass asked for all this shit. I was, bro, I literally, yo, Paps, I literally only been rapping. I'm not known for nothing else. I've never been on the billboards. I've never did any of this shit that's like fucking the biggest of all biggest accolades in fucking music other than being a 2018 double XL freshman. And I was a 2018 double XL freshman solidly off of my fucking cult following fans, mm -hmm. literally. And that's all off of music. I didn't, you know, do dumbass viral videos or yeah. like fucking like just did dumb ass shit for like views or for people to listen to my music i didn't act like i was a fucking comedian and then turn into a rapper or just, or none of that shit and there's no disrespect to none of the people but i stuck to like what i knew my bread and butter i know how to rap all right i'm gonna keep fucking rapping yeah and that's what got me to here so it just really blows my mind when people are like this 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 and that i'm like bro can you tell me another person that's even doing half the shit that i even did just solidly off rapping because if you can then i'll shut the fuck up you know what i mean and i'll be like all right you know what you right bomb yeah. Other than JID, real shit. Like JID is the only person that I know that doesn't do gimmicks, no nothing, solidly off rapping, and he's tapped in. Well, J Cole. J Cole's a little older. I'm talking as far as like kids from like like, Kendrick. Mo like millennials though. Okay, Kendrick's a little is in his thirties, I guess. Yeah, I'm talking as far as like people that were born like '94 and up. Hmm, that's a good question. Hold on, let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I mean, the baby got other stuff going on. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> free, free little baby. But we, we talk it. We talk, but again, we talk it. All people that are all billboards. Kodak, Kodak Black got other stuff going on. Billboards, though. We're talking yeah. plaques. No, I feel you. I don't have shit. No, I feel you. I, I you see know what I'm saying, from. though, bro? Like that's the shit that be blowing my mind. And it's not that I'm not gonna strive for that. And it's not to yeah. you know not anybody, man. First of all, niggas fuck me at. Okay. First of all. Second of all. I ain't even like that. Third of all, it's just my point that I'm just trying to prove is that like 
all this shit has happened, you know what I mean? Yeah. Solidly off of like what we're doing right now, speaking into a microphone just with a beat playing in the background and me just talking about my life. Well, you did this uh, this video, I think it was All Deaf Digital, mm -hmm. with the little kids. Yeah. And they asked you who a trash rapper was. Yeah. And you said Russ. Yeah. So, th th this is really my, my, uh, my issue with him. I think he's very misconstrued on what exactly my issue is with him. I really don't got a problem with his music at all. I personally, from the bottom of my heart, I don't really care for his music. I know he doesn't care for mine. So I, we don't we don't lose on that end at all. Right. Um, second of all, you know, I never knew that somebody would feel so offended by my words. Never thought that I would have that much power to offend somebody. Third of all... This was after you said... No, just, I'm just saying just in an in overall sense. Okay, You know it. what I mean? Third of all, the reason why I actually said that was not because it was a trend and not because, you know, people were at the time saying like, oh, fuck Russ. I, I, I'm a drug addict. Straight up and down. And then we're just going to address it like that. When Peep died and he felt the need to say that bullshit that he said... What did he say? I don't know exactly what he said because it was so long ago. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Okay. But it was something along the lines of Peep publicly displaying his problem and, you know, showing to the youth of like something to the effect that it's cool or something like that. And then like a week or two later, something like that. I don't know exactly how the timeline went. You know, don't quote me on that. But I think like a week or two later, he wore a shirt that says, how many perks and, and lean zans do you have to drink until you realize you're a fucking idiot? I'm like, so I sit back and I'm like, damn. First thing I asked myself, I said, before I even got mad about the situation, I was like, yo, has he ever had a drug problem before? Like, does he kind of know like what it feels like to wake up every day like with your body in pain? Or does he know what like mental illness like really feels like? Like you feel like you just trapped in your head every fucking day and there's really no other fucking escape. I see what you're saying. How many Zans and lean and lean do you have to do before you realize you're a fucking loser? That's the shirt. And so you mean to tell me that, you know, like people that had problems like me, people that have problems like Pete, people that have problems like, you know, like we're 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 legit losers. So me expressing my pain because every form of way that I've tried to do it is just not working for me. I'm a loser for that? All right, well, fuck you then. If I'm a loser, fuck you. Yeah, well, we've interviewed Russ before. I don't have a problem with his music, but I, I don't like, bro. I don't I, like. Neither do I. I yeah. that, that, that's what my problem is as a man, bro. Yeah, it's right there. I don't give a fuck about that music shit. This ain't about music. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I didn't like how he got Adam Twenty Two jumped over uh, over a tweet. At one point, I just hear Adam Twenty Two, and I turn like this, and I just. Boom! Just get clocked in the side of the head, and then I think I got hit like one more time, like in the top of the head, like because as soon as I got hit in the head, I like fell out of the chair, and like before I could get up, I get hit in the top of the head one more time, and then I look up, and these dudes are already out. They're already running out the door, and you know I was just so confused. That part I didn't like. That's some sensitive shit. You know how many people make tweets about me every fucking day, yeah. telling me like, "Oh, I hope you kill yourself." Oh, da, 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 da. bro, I live my life every fucking day. Who gives a fuck? Like, right. That's I mean, you, like, bro, but you're a rapper. Like, you sign up for this shit, though. Man, you, know you know what I'm many, saying? You know how many people have told me that they wish my mother would die? And exactly. But like, it's just like, Vlad, but it's like, bro, I'm like, dead, but if, like, if you was to not get to where you at right now, bro, or if you didn't know that this was what yeah, not was going to come. signed up for it. Ex that's you why I don't, be, I don't be understanding these rappers, bro. I don't, bro. Yeah. I understand when this bullshit happens. But when any bullshit happens, I get it. I'm like, well, psh, what the fuck was I going to do? Like, what did I just expect from my life to be normal? Nah. Wait, didn't he get someone else jumped also? Was it he got perp jumped. Perp, yeah, smoke perp. That's what and I he got And he just got a uh, guap dead 4,000. Right. From, uh, I don't know if he signed a Dreamville. Well, that shit's going to catch up to you sooner or later. That's what I think. You can't keep pulling that bullshit and think you're just going to get away with it. You can't really hide behind your money all day long. We're all human. I don't know, bro. It's, that, the, the way I, that, that shit, I'm going to be real with you, bro. The way how he doing that shit, it's a little too calculated. It's like Fed-like calculated. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I'm thinking, bro, working with the Feds or some shit, bro. Oh, some Takashi shit? <laughs> that, yo, no cap, bro. Like, how do you know where all these people at, bro? Like, and it's calculated, bro. Yeah, I don't it's know. Like, bro, I'm talking like it's too calculated. It's way too yeah. <laughs> It's way too calculated. Life bro. has a way of humbling. But you, other man. than that, bro, I even, on some real shit, I even DM'd him too. 
Mm-hmm. I DM'd him and I was like, look, bro, we haven't been able to come across each other as men and talk to each other like this man. And I let him know what the situation was. Did he decide to read that DM or not? Nah. But I'm not running from anything. Yeah. I'm not running from anything, either it be whatever he want to get into, either it be a conversation as men or anything. I'm not running from shit. If anything, I'm really waiting. 